I didn't leave the Democratic Party. It left me. It's a Ronald Reagan quote that might apply to our next guest. In a recent piece for TheBlaze.com, former California state senator Gloria Romero announced her decision to walk away from the Democratic Party and join the GOP. She joins us now. So, Gloria, what was one of the biggest factors that you had when you were deciding to, to switch over to the Republicans? Well, first of all, thank you so very much. It's an honor to join you today. This has been a political journey for me. It's been a while coming. Uh, ultimately, I saw from the party that has called itself the party of democracy that 14 million votes were just invalidated. The primary season was wiped out, and that was already a rigged primary to begin with. So I think that was really the final push. But I can add a litany of efforts and issues overall that really turned me away from a party that I did not recognize any longer. Gloria, uh, speaking as someone who who left California, uh, you know, three three years ago, February, um, I read this with interest. Uh, you know, I was aware of of your career and things you had done over the years in politics. And I guess the biggest question I have is, I feel like there's a lot of people who agree with you, a lot of friends who, uh, you know, from LA that I know who are Democrats feel the same way, but I don't see a lot of actual movement. Uh, maybe some people are leaving, you know, but I was more on the right already. But do you feel like your move here is sort of a uh, presages other people moving or changing and that you represent a lot of people who maybe are unheard in the Democratic Party right now? I would hope so. And I think it's important. And I think many of us saw, for example, Leo Terrell moved a while ago, Tulsi Gabbard, uh, RFK Jr. And really when he made the decision to leave, enduring what he had endured, as a Kennedy, the name, I mean, iconic in the Democratic Party, when he made his move, that's when I finally decided, you know what, it's time for me to pack up my bags and leave too. This past Sunday, I attended uh, the, uh, the AM870 Town Hall Forum. And it was really interesting because I was greeted by many, many Democrats who had already walked away. And they weren't elected officials. Many of them said, look, I was just an ordinary voter like many of us are. And they said, we walked away. So I believe there are many. We heard in Sacramento just a few weeks ago that a another Latina, she's a state senator in the Central Valley, uh, she moved away from the Democratic Party. Recently, an assemblyman who had served in parts of South LA, uh, he announced that he didn't recognize his party either. So I think there is a movement. There is a lot more shift than people are willing to say. And even though some people had given me flack for moving away, I will tell you that I've had many messages come to me saying they are thinking of moving away as well. So it's a movement. The walk away is real. Do you feel like your values or principles have changed or do you feel like you've just changed the name, you know, the, the little name that's next to yours with with what it's representing at this point in time? Well, I think if we if we start with the values of freedom, of democracy, of liberty, and I think, too, regardless of which side of the aisle somebody's on, I think we can lay claim to that. You know, for example, when I said I never would have believed that a primary would have just been thrown out completely and in the dark of night, like what I say, you know, in Latin American dictatorships, when the, the, the elites uh, get together and they use what we say in Spanish, the dedazo, the finger to point and tap who's going to be in charge. That's what happened in this country today when we see not only one but two assassination attempts and still my party, my old party, basically still justifying it, saying it's it's OK in the name of protection of democracy. It's unbelievable. It's very Orwellian. So when we talk about the values, I often point to to say, look, I am a mother and that's a value in my life, motherhood. I am not a birthing person. So I think we take a look at how the label of being a Democrat, and my family was FDR, JFK, RFK. Um, I, I, I don't know what the D stands for anymore, except that it was time to leave. So the values are me, but the values have been eroded in this party that's gone totally woke 
and which many of us are just scratching our heads and saying, you know, ya basta, I, I, goodbye, enough. Gloria, have you have you faced any challenges because of this announcement? Uh, have you faced some opposition or, you know, do you have any conflict with friends? And, and do you have any advice for people who maybe are in your shoes who are thinking about this moving forward? I, I think one just really has to, you know, examine their conscience, uh, say what is right for them. Um, yes, I've gotten hack. I've been you know, ridiculed uh, with some people online. But, you know, as they say, you have to have a thick skin to be in politics. And I've had a thick skin for quite some time. So it doesn't phase me. Uh, overall, I think the reception has been very, very welcoming. Uh, the Republican Party has embraced me. I feel very happy. Steve Hilton, uh, Congressman Kevin Kiley, uh, the leader of the uh, Republican minority, Assemblyman Gallagher were all there to greet me and join with me along with the chair of the statewide Republican Party. And it's been very, very gracious. Many Democrats as well. I think many of them have known me. They've known my fight for school choice over the years. So that has been a major issue, which has put me at odds with the Democratic Party for probably 20 years now. So probably many of them are not surprised any longer. So I think just the advice is examine your conscience. You know, we have a country to save. If you don't recognize your party, there's a reason why it's not us anymore. And it's time to just say goodbye. And there is a very warm, big new tent under you know the blue collar billionaire businessman, Donald Trump, that I think has created space for the walkaways like me. 